Hello, and this should be a very interesting video. So a big thanks to B-Store, and I think he said as well, Millie Ronken, who's a um, Polish sort of um, radiation decimeter YouTuber, um, for providing me with this to do a video. So if you're familiar with the DP66, this is what's called the DP66 pearl, because it's like, you know, that grey, shiny pearl colour, as in pearls from clams. And... Um, it's apparently a very, very rare version of DP66. If we look at its um, serial number there, it's the 64th DP66 ever built. Or maybe the 64th from 1967. But still a very low number. Let me just zoom in on that. If I can find a zoom without cutting off the video. Right, this is being awkward now. That I'm trying to do it from an angle. Which is completely off topic now. Well, off target. So. There we go. So if you can see that. DP66 1967 064. So not the most common of uh, decimeters. So let's have a look in this kit. What we've got with us. So we've got all the manuals and everything. In the foam here, what's this? Because we got some foam here with something wrapped up in it. So I want to be as careful as possible unwrapping it, because I don't actually know. Oh, oh, this is some other sort of decimeter. Okay, that's cool. Radiometer EKOD. I didn't even know I was getting this, but let's put that to the side. So that's not a, a DP66, that's something else. Right, so we'll pick the DP66 up. Now I assume this is a plug to put the DP66 on the mains. I have to use it with a UK conversion one, but yeah, that's pretty standard. There's a strap for it, which I won't bother using for this video. Don't get the bubble wrap out the way. There's the old Polish plug. Two pin, sort of old European style standard one. Something in here, this might just be like the old silica gel, I think, in this like bean bag thing. There. Sorry if you can hear my stomach grumbling. I had um, a stomach infection last week and it's mostly good but not completely back to normal. Right, the headset. As you can see, that's not the standard DP66 headset. It's more like a modern one, weirdly enough. Because the um, actual headset thing on this one, if you can see that, isn't the old style one. It's something that looks a lot more modern, weirdly. It's not the two pin one, it's um, a thing. But that's completely corroded on this one, so um, no luck plugging that in there. But um, that would be the headset connector. So rather than the old two-pin one, it's an even older one-pin one, which is closer to a Western one-pin one, a 3.5 millimetre. But never mind. So what else have we got? Probe condoms, or whatever you want to call them. Spare fuses and parts, by the look of it. More probe condom-y looking things. Basically so you don't contaminate your probe. And another silica gel bag. Right, okay, so let's have a look at this. So we've got all the instructions which we don't need to look at because it's basically, it's a Röntgen decimeter from the um, Soviet period. It's a Geiger counter. It'll use an SBM20 tube and whatever else to um, pick up radiation levels. So let's pop this back on there. Without oh, damaging the cable. And get that to go on completely flat. Am I doing that the wrong way? There we go. So you go in there. Doesn't want to go in, does it? Just keep going out like spaghetti. Right. And the probe condoms can get pushed in there. Right, cool. So, let's have a look at this, if it actually works. But, you know, one of the oldest, probably DP66 videos you'll see on YouTube. Uh, just to say, the light doesn't work and the reset doesn't work. So, we'll um, have a lot of fun with this. Right, so there we go. Here's our DP66 Pearl serial number 64. 
So let's open the little slot where the Geiger tube is. Get this out. So this is your pretty standard DP66A or whatever you want to call it, Geiger tube. Your beta times one shield, there's probably a yeah, beta times ten there. And the gamma tube where it's completely sealed off. So it's on the beta times one, so that should make it the most sensitive possible. Right now let's put this um, uh, counter onto the uh, most sensitive scale. 0 0.5 millirontgen per hour. And let's see if we can actually get it to register anything. So I can't see the needle moving at all. And wiggling the cable it doesn't seem to be moving at all. So it doesn't indicate there's a loose wire. But let's pop it on top of a um, radioactive sample. No, that's still not moving, so unfortunately I don't know if this counter's actually working. As cool as it is, and it still does its circuit check, but maybe the Geiger tubes aren't properly um, done with it. But what I will do, before I stop the video, is see if I can plug this tube into the um, electrics using the um, socket, and see if it works using this thing. So I've taken the batteries out, and I've connected it to the main, so let's turn this on and hope nothing goes wrong. Should do it on the circuit test sir, first and see if that. I don't think it's even responding to mains power. No, unfortunately, I don't think it's even responding to the mains. So let's unplug the mains and try the battery again. Let's hope I don't get a lethal shock unplugging an old 1960s communist cable. That's all still in frame. There's the weird battery conversion unit. That's in frame somewhere. There we go. But yeah, no idea if that works. Right, so let's pop the batteries back in. At least we got a circuit test of the batteries. We'll just not do it up that tight. We can even get this to start screwing up. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I'll just leave it there. So yeah, that does the K test there, but unfortunately this doesn't seem to respond to any samples. So there you go, there's a DP66 Pearl. Unfortunately, due to its age, it probably doesn't work anymore due to something, um, you know, just being burnt out on it or whatever. But yeah, it's a very cool counter. Like I said, it's the interesting thing about this is more just it's in like a silvery colour rather than the brown bake like because it was intended for like industrial or export use or something like that rather than being in the original you know sort of um, well not original because these have lower serial numbers but like the brown colour so um, like I said it's still got the um, decimeter charging port there if I can get that open so you can charge your DP66 or DP5 decimeter pens or whatever they're called there that's still um, the same as usual but yeah, this is like the prototype unit. So it uses a different headphone setting, you know, and everything else. But yeah, an interesting thing to look at. But unfortunately, you know, it seems to run on the um, battery test mode, but doesn't seem to do much when you actually power it on. Probably because, you know, when the tube's in it, it's fried or a wire somewhere or whatever else. 